welcome back to keep on collecting and uh, today I have an unboxing I've saved up all the parcels from eBay yeah eBay and saved them up and here they are whole nine packages for you um, so armed with my trusty knife I'm going to open these up and show you what's inside and share with you maybe some possible stories on why I have made these purchases. So thank you very much for joining me. Sit back, grab a cup of tea and enjoy. Alrighty, so here we are, you can see this is the stack, it's pretty high. Um, but you know what? I enjoy, I really enjoy unboxings cause I can just sit back and relax. Um, as I go through an item, I can um, explain, you know, what this item is and uh, share with you maybe some thoughts uh, while I've got the item. So let's start off. I have actually removed all the addresses. So that's, that's always a good, good start for a video. And here we are. Well, oh, this is good. Yeah, yeah. So I, don't, I do remember things that I buy, but I don't, um, you know, because these have been saved up for months, uh, probably uh, eight weeks or so, I don't specifically remember what's in each box. Um, but yes, let's start off with a, a lovely, I'm starting to sound like Andrew Lovely, classic slime. Now this has come in, it's original um, Kenner bag that it would have come in in the 80s because this would have been probably the mail away edition this is the kenna superpowers line and this is step i'll show you out here can you see that <laughs> anyway so this is uh steppenwolf he comes complete with his uh i guess that's his axe he's a bit bit dirty so he will need a wash but as i've stated before it's always good to wash your new toys well the old old new toys so let's put him up here and he's not really holding his weapon so we're just going to stand in there loose looking good all right next one so i ran through this way i actually got a flash figure not so long ago um superpowers flash and came in a bag as well what, what did i do threw it away <laughs> uh then someone in the comments Said, you know sometimes that bag is worth more than the figure itself and I went too late that bag is now gone so it's worth nothing so next box it's not a massive box so this is looks like it's come from international so they're always exciting because sometimes I guess the international market sometimes on eBay is probably a little bit there's a bit more a few more options out there especially especially in America there's uh, just one item in here too, and it's, um, oh well, just something very small. This is Arco The Other World. I've been quietly, slowly, methodically, slowly getting these figures, and um, I think I already said slowly, maybe twice. But here is Ronan. So they've got basically wire in the middle uh, as a skeleton, the wire, and they're a bit like a rubber and um you know they can they've got some good posability uh, i think i bought his shield loose maybe um a little while back too so they're, yeah, they're not very big probably a three and three quarters so these were big um in the early 80s and look i don't know if we had these as kids we had something very similar with the um the wire frame with the um the rubber um skin and you could pose them now, I, I do recall having something like this, like maybe one or two, and that's why I think I'm into this line, and he doesn't want to stand up. So we're just going to let him have a sleepy baby. Okay, so next one is, I think this is in the straight from an Australian seller. Um, yeah, I don't know what this will be. I sometimes get no idea what these are. All righty. Um, oh, 
Oh, you know, you know what this is? This is from, this is from our mate, Scott Crusher. And it's, it's thrown me because he, he, um, I, I didn't, I didn't realize I was buying this item from, from Scott. And, um, and since, you know, he's messaged me saying, Hey, did you buy, did you buy this? I'm like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's me. <laughs> anyway, so this is it. The real, the real Ghostbusters, um, the Frankenstein monster. So this is from the Monsters line, like sub series, I guess, of Real Ghostbusters. I can't remember when this was released. It would have maybe been started eighty six or maybe late eighties, ninety. So this is Frankenstein's monster. So this was. One of, I think, six monsters. I think, like, is um, like a vampire, there's a mummy, there's a zombie, there is a werewolf, and there's Quasimodo, and this guy, Frankenstein. So he's in really good condition. Thank you, Scott. And not only any, he has thrown a bit of a surprise, which, which threw me out. And um, of course, he loves, Scott loves his uh, Hasbro. Um, Hasbro WWE or WWF back in time wrestlers and they're from the um, they're from the 90s so he he's just said I remember him saying that he was going to send me a couple of wrestlers and uh, very kind Scott thank you very much um, very grateful for your well, I guess it's a donation isn't it so one is uh, look I, I know I know this is a bushwhacker but please don't ask me which one this is it's either Butch or Luke, at least I know that who the Bushwhackers names are, so it's either um, Butch yeah, or Luke, so not sure which one, not sure what he's supposed to do, but I'll figure that out later, so that is that guy, and this one is Shawn Michaels, now he just thought, you know, because Shawn Michaels has lost an arm, it's an armless Shawn Michaels, like I mean if he was legless, I could understand, but um, yeah, so he just said he'd send this guy along until I found a, um, a two-armed Shawn Michaels. So thank you very much, Scott. That was very generous of you. I had no idea that I was buying those figures from you. So that was, um, that was a pleasant surprise. <laughs> um, all righty. So let's get into the next one. This is in a shoe box. So I didn't buy shoes. Uh, oh. oh, yeah, yeah. I've already... Okay, let's have a look what's in here. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Gee, this is this would have been bought like a long time ago. As a long, 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 long time ago. No, not as in probably the eight, eight weeks ago. So I forgot to actually purchase this. So this is from the Master Universe Classics line, which according to now the YouTuber is 6.5 inch tall, not 7, which is fine. And this is Queen Marlena, who is, of course, Prince Adam's mother. And she ruled Eternia with King Randor. Um, but they never made Marlena in the um, vintage line. So I've seen this, and I think she can remove, I'm not sure what parts, and she comes with a different, a different costume underneath them. So she comes with a, like a staff or a scepter, pretty cool, and a sword. So she's complete, Queen Marlena. I just decided to get a few of the classics line because um, they weren't released. They weren't released uh, as vintage, as I said, and they weren't released under the Super 7 banner because Super 7 released a bunch of five and a half inch Look nearly exactly like the originals. Um, so she wasn't released under there, and he's kindly sent the card as well. So that is cool. I'm very happy with Queen Marlena. She is a very tall lady. She'll um she'll stand next to my vintage King Randall and tower over him and look like an Amazon. So we can just pretend that she was an Amazon. Alrighty. Next one, I think, is another. Yeah, this is from. Queensland, 
And, oh, okay, yeah. Another one that I bought a long time ago, so it's, it's a bit of a surprise to see it. But of course I, I'm happy. It's a happy surprise, because I did mean to, I've, I've bought this. So this is from the Aliens, the Kenner Aliens line. It's on card, it's a bit messed up the card, it's not, it's not great. But this is um, Snake Alien. Yeah, Snake Alien, you can see it up at the top here. And that's it there. It's a bit hard to see with the light, sorry everyone. But um, yeah, it's not a massive, amazing figure. But just on the odd occasion, if I find them for a good price, whether loose or carded, I'll pick up these Kenner Aliens or, you know, the Kenner Predators. And I seem to take turns, so if I get a, get an alien, I seem to get a predator, so it'll be added to the pile down there. Um, the display, sorry, the pile. Alrighty, so this one is, I think this is, I think this is um, an overseas one, and um, yeah, I'm not sure what this one is. Another surprise, alright. Oh, this is awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm glad I can show these ones to you. There's a bit of a story with these. These are, these are going to be more kind of superpowers. I told you I was, I told you I was on a bit of a, you know, just trying to um, locate more of these because I was a little bit disappointed. I found out that a lot of my kind of superpowers um were actually or not a lot just some of them like wonder woman superman robin um some of the other ones they were actually toy biz so toy biz and the only way you can tell the difference there is a well i'll show you anyway i i went to buy this wonder woman fantastic price um in america and oh my god you sent that in the account of bag as well that's fantastic. This guy, this guy was amazing. Like, if, if I could just remember and promote this guy, but I, he had this, and I was winning this bid. I, I put a bid on it. No one looked like it was even interested, and anyway, this guy pipped me literally in the last second. So, you, I mean, anyone that does eBay and gets pipped in the last second, you, when you think I actually had won it, it it's quite, yeah, it's quite disheartening. Um, so I contacted a guy, I don't know why, I was a bit upset, I think, and I contacted him and said, like, ah, oh, you know, I asked him to do things he, he sh uh, you know, shouldn't, I can't, I'm not going to repeat here. Um, not, not against him, but anyway, he had another Wonder Woman, and that is in superb condition. Like, the, the paint loss around the hair is minimal, that's the light shining off, but yeah, there's no, no real paint loss. So what happens is, wait a minute. I've got my, um, I just thought I'd short show you quickly. So this is the new Wonder Woman. Now let's have a look at her legs. She, um, just straight down here. So this is my old Wonder Woman. And it's, this is the childhood Wonder Woman. So you can see there's a bolt there. So we've got two Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman. <laughs> One with bolt, Toy Biz, Kenner. That's the difference. So all these years I thought I had a, a Kenner. I had a Toy Biz, so I had to go off. I've got the Kenner. And that is in, yeah, they're, they're a lot different too. And um, it's in absolutely superb nick. Came with a Kenner bag as well. The other ones I've got in there is a, this is a Toy Biz. Got the bolt there. Um, Toy Biz Two Face. That's pretty, I didn't even know this was made. And he was selling this figure because I'd already bought this. So that's why I was a bit upset because I really wanted just to bundle up the postage. Then just to th make things sweet, he was so nice, he kind of just said, you know, I've got, got this other Wonder Woman. How about, to make it sweeter, I'll throw in another flash for you as well. So this is, of course, a Kenner flash. No bolt in the leg there, either on the side. So I've already got a flash. So I know someone, his name is Scott Crusher, just so happens, I've already opened these. He was into, you might want to start a, a soup, can of superpowers collection. So mate, I am going to send this one to you because uh, we, we've we discussed this and you said you would probably like this line. And look, one, one figure to start you off will be probably enough of a disease to make you want to collect the whole lot. Because I'm sure 
<laughs> I'm sure you'll be appreciative of that. Um, but no, that's they. That was a good little. Oh uh, yeah, I'm gonna let Wonder Woman have a rest too. <laughs> She's had a hard day, Wonder Woman. Uh, so two Kenner bags. I am. I'm really impressed. All right, so I think this is from the US as well. Oh, very minimal packing. Oh, we've got bubble wrap, so that's good. All right, so, ah, oh, yes. This has been here for a long time as well. Now, I'm, this is really good. I've got to try and open these. <laughs> All right. It's a little bit exciting to see these guys because, and I, oh, they look like they're in pretty good nick as well. I'll show you. Sorry. Like the the you know the drama leading up to the big show. All right, I'm not sure who has heard of Space Precinct. For 20 years I was with the NYPD. Now, well, let's just say I've transferred to another precinct. Jerry Anderson, I think from about 94, 95, like one season of about 24, 26 episodes. Uh, the cards a bit. On that one, Ooh, it's a bit yucky, but these are the last two characters I needed to complete the set. I've got the rest of them up there of the space precinct. So, this is Officer Took. They're like aliens. Oh, that light is a bit annoying, isn't it? Anyway, Officer Took, his cards a bit, his bubbles a bit dirty. So, and this one is Officer Oren. So, I don't know too much about it, I think. Um, Space Precent is actually, I'm just covering my face there, but Space Precent is actually on, I think, Amazon or Stan. Uh, oh, this one's even uncarded. I mean, unpunched. So, uncarded, that'd be loose, wouldn't it? All right, so that's, that completes Space Precent. I love, oh, I completed, completed toy line. <laughs> they don't, not going to stand up, so I'm just going to let them, let them lay there. All right, uh, we've only got two left, so this is good. This is in another Australian, Australian one in a regular Australia Post box. Um, so bear with me here. All right, <laughs> after a bit of a struggle, we've managed to reopen this. All right, ah, this is excellent. It's a relatively new box that I've got in recent weeks, recent week or so. All right, and this is Land of the Lost. Now, we're not talking 74, 76 Land of the Lost. We're talking early 90s Land of the Lost. This character is Stink, who was a little bit like, I guess, Chucker, the Chucker version. You know, you had the um, the Porters instead of the, um, oh, gee, Marshall, Will and Holly. <laughs> what were they called? Oh, I can't remember what they were called. Anyway, uh, Marshall, Will and Holly, they were replaced by the Porters in this uh, 90s version. It went for two, two shorter seasons, I think. Or one season. Oh, I can't remember now. I've got a bit of a mental blank, but this one's on card. I will probably take him off card. Um, and so I'm going to explain with the other ones up there. I, it's almost it's almost completed, my Land of the Lost. I need a couple of play sets and a vehicle. So they, it's, a, it's a bit of a... And they're a bit... They're a bit hard to get and they're a bit expensive to get to the these um the play sets for Land of the Lost. You wouldn't think so. Released by Tiger, 1992. So you wouldn't think that would be an expensive set to get, considering it was um a one or two season show, but I guess you know. <laughs> I guess maybe uh they didn't make too many toys, so therefore so therefore it makes the toys a little bit hard to find. Alright. Last one. Thank you very much for watching and being patient. All right, let's see what this is about here. Lots of, lots of paper. Some real problems with these guys stand up today, aren't I? Uh, oh, this is from Italy. Now I know what this is. Um, I don't think I show. I, I got. Uh, I guess earlier in the year I got something, you know, not too pe many people will be familiar with this. But it's Captain Simeon and the Space Monkeys. And these were released by Mattel back, I think, in the mid-90s. Uh, let me have a look. 96. And this is actually, he's upside down, but that's uh, Captain Simeon in there. So he, he leads his crew. And, um... Yeah, so I bought the Avenger, which is the, the ship, 
uh, early in the year and they send in a, a loose incomplete uh, or it was just a loose no no accessories at all captain simeon so i thought i'd buy fi find captain simeon and his crew and um get them in there get like him in, in the in there with the uh, avenger it's just a, it's a massive ship and it needs to be filled by figures <laughs> and that's my excuse and i'm sticking to it all right um i think that'll do all righty everybody so that's it for another unboxing video thank you so much for being patient watching me open those nine boxes um they're just they are just easy to film they're little these are just like uh fillers for my collection and they're fun to find fun to to show and, and i love it so thank you to all our current subscribers uh we are slowly gathering more subscribers it's it's great to see more and more people come and visit our channel and just you know correspond with them and mingle with other youtube creators it's fantastic so we're loving it and it's um it's just a pleasure to to do this channel sometimes and just do these kind of videos and get back with andrew and you know do videos with him as well um so yeah thank you very much to all our current subscribers if you're not if you like this video and you like the content of our channel please feel free to subscribe um, click the notifications so you will be notified of any further keep on collecting videos so have fun out there guys stay safe and as andrew and i always say keep on collecting thanks for watching guys